The Teatro dell'Opera di Roma is an opera house in Rome, Italy. Originally opened in November 1880 as the 2212-seat Costanzi Theatre, it has undergone several changes of name as well modifications and improvements. The present house seats 1,600. The original Teatro Costanzi, 1880-1926. The Teatro de l'Opera was originally known as the Teatro Costanzi after the contractor who built it, Domenico Costanzi. It was financed by Costanzi, who commissioned the Milanese architect Tashiels Fondrini, a specialist in the building and renovation of theatres. The opera house was built in 18 months, on the site where the house of Heliogabala stood in ancient times and was inaugurated on 27 November 1880 with a performance of semi ramide by Giochino Rossini. Designing the theatre, Sfondrini paid particular attention to the acoustics, conceiving the interior structure as a resonance chamber, as is evident from the horseshoe shape in particular. With a seating capacity of 2,212, the house had three tiers of boxes, an amphitheatre and two separate galleries surmounted by a dome adorned with splendid frescoes by Annabel Brugnoli. Costanzi was obliged to manage the theatre himself, under his direction, and despite financial problems, the Opera House held many world premieres of operas, including Cavalleria Rusticana by Pietro Mascheni on 17 May 1890. For a brief period the theatre was managed by Costanzi's son, Enrico, who gained renown by organising another great premiere, that of Tosca by Giacomo Puccini on 14 January 1900. In 1907 the Teatro Costanzi was purchased by the impresario Walter Mocchi on behalf of the Societa Teatrale Internazionale e Nazionale. In 1912 Mochi's wife, Emma Corelli, became the managing director of the new Impressa Costanzi, as the theatre was later known. Following various changes in the company structure, during the 14 years of her tenure, major works which had not been performed before in Rome were staged. These included La Fanciella del West. Turandot and Il Tritico by Giacomo Puccini, Parsifal by Richard Wagner, Francesca da Rimini by Riccardo Zandani, Boris Godunov by Modest, Musorgsky, Samson A. Delilah by Camille Saint-Sans and many others. Diet Who Loves Ballet's Russ is also performed. The restructured Teatro Real de l'Opera, 1926-1946. In November 1926 the Costanzi was bought by the Rome City Council and its name changed to Teatro Real dell'Opera. A partial rebuilding ensued, led by architect Marcello P. S. Antony and lasting 15 months. The house reopened on 27 February 1928 with the opera Neron by Arrigo Boito. Chief among several major changes was the relocated entrance from the street formerly known as Via del Teatro to the opposite side, where Piazza Beniamino Gigli exists today. In addition, the amphitheatre inside the theatre was replaced by a fourth tier of boxes and the balcony. The interior was embellished by new stucco work, decorations, and furnishings, including a magnificent chandelier measuring 6 meters in diameter and composed of 27,000 crystal drops. The present Teatro dell'Opera di Roma, from 1946, following the end of monarchy, the name was simplified to Teatro dell'Opera and, in 1958, the building was again remodeled and modernized. Rome City Council again commissioned architect Marcello P. S. Antony, who radically altered the building's style, notably with regard to the facade, entrance and foyer, each of these taking the form we know today. The theatre's legendary acoustics still bear comparison with any other auditorium in the world. The seating capacity is about 1,600. The house was retrofitted with air conditioning subsequent to a restoration, which provided improvements to the interior. The stucco work was completely restored, the great proscenium arch strengthened, and a parquet floor of solid oak blocks laid to replace the previous one. 
For health reasons, Callas abandoned the performance after the first act. The post-war period saw celebrated productions, including Mozart's La Noza di Figaro in 1964 and Verdi's Don Carlos in 1965, both conducted by Carlo Maria Giulini and directed by Lucino Visconti. From 2001 to 2010, the music director and chief conductor of the company was Gianluigi Gelmetti. He was due to be succeeded in these posts by Riccardo Muti, as announced in August 2009, but Muti demurred. Citing in La Repubblica in October 2010, general difficulties that are plaguing the Italian opera houses. Later, Muti assumed a role similar to that of music director but without title. Notable productions under Muti have included Gluck's Iphigenie en Olide, Verdi's Nabucco, Simon Bocanegra, and Ernani. The name Teatro Costanzi remains officially in use to refer to the main auditorium, opera company's summer venue. The outdoor theatre at the Baths of Caracalla, with the Roman ruins as the backdrop, is the venue for the opera company's summertime presentations in Rome.